Good evening, buonasera. Welcome to my kitchen in Clearwater, Florida, where the sun shines. Stay here. I'm feeling green. How about you? Do, 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 do. do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Making up for my dance moves, right? You always got to start some way in your kitchen. Get the right state, the right move to infuse your food with love, right? Spread the love wherever you go. Let it come from you heart. Let it be in joy. Let it be sensual. Let it be felt. Let it be heard. Let it be seen. Let people smell it and taste it and touch it. Right? It's all about the love, right? And we're feeling all lovey-dovey tonight, aren't we? Come on. It's Tasty Tuesday. It is all about sensuality, touch. Reach out and touch someone on this Tasty Tuesday. Wet your thirst, right? Isn't that what it's about? Really feeling the richness of what you are engaging in. Every experience, when you step out the door, set the intention. Oh, take it all in. Engage in it fully. Enliven all of your senses. Breathe life force. Breathe prana back into your life, right? Don't you think it's worth a little bit more effort than just going through motions? But to truly be a part of this life, to really truly be living in this space, in this human existence, this costume that we put on top of a soul that we are at the core, right? Heart and soul. The essence of all that we are, the truth of all that is, is love. It's so simple, yet we resist it so much, right? We claim to choose it, but that's where the resistance is, because that which we choose, we deny also, right? So, tonight, I had this plan, and I ran out looking for cauliflower. That'll be for another day. So instead, tonight, I have a bag full of groceries. Cost me roughly around $20 maybe a little bit less. And I filled up my water bottle for one dollar. Five gallons reverse osmosis. If you live somewhere where you can go and refill your bottle, I guarantee it's going to cost you less if you own your home and you're paying for water coming out of your tap. Because if you have a reverse osmosis system in your home, it costs a lot of money to install it, but it also costs money for the amount of water that comes in and they charge you for what goes out even if it doesn't go out little bit of a deception there, right? Kind of upsetting to know that you're paying for what goes in and out even if you're using it and it doesn't go out. So anyway, just something most people are totally unaware of. And so it goes. There's nothing better than a pound of spring mix in your refrigerator for that salad you're craving. And for me, most of the times when I'm so hungry, y'all have seen me. I'm feeling green tonight. Hmm. Hmm. My favorite are those mini little collards and the radicchio, or known as chicory. Mmm, I love bitters. But see, the thing is, is, I'll do my fruits and my sweets during the day in the morning. Or when I'm intermittent fasting, I'll have that immediately. And at night, mm, I gotta get my green on. Anybody else with me? Because truly, the sugars from fruits are meant to fuel you through the day, right? This is how I envision it for my body. And then my greens, mmm, balance out the flavors. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
I might leave that out and still munch on it while I'm doing this. We'll see. What else is in the big bag? Slowly, because it's very, very heavy and I'm not trying to break this thing. Or rip it up. So tonight, what I'm going to do... I picked up a bunch of zucchini and a couple of yellow squash. And I actually had the intention, I did not go out looking for sweet potatoes, but since I found them on sale, I initially bought some at Aldi along with the $3.79 of mixed greens that are organic. And then I realized, you know what? I shouldn't have bought them at Aldi's because they were 33 cents a pound at Save-A-Lot. Save Lots, one of those cheap places you can go to, and actually produce isn't always better priced, but since I haven't gotten to the market, and there's no guarantee with the sweet potatoes whether I'm going to find them or not, it's more of a gourd season, but it kind of fluctuates, so you know when you need it. These are jumbo. Look at the size of these things, and I didn't even get the big ones. I didn't want them that big. I thought that if I get them that big, I won't be able to fit them in the oven. I only got three. I think I thought I got four, but I got three. Look at the size of these things. And these aren't even the biggest ones I saw. These are jumbo sweet potatoes. And you know what? For 33 cents a pound, they came out to $1.46. Right? That's not too bad. And then, the ones I got at Aldi, they're the tiny ones, for $1.98, I think, for three pounds. So, you know, it kind of weighs out. So we place these back. And so it goes. And then, because I swung by Nature's Food Patch, my other favorite place to go. They had this on sale, otherwise I wouldn't have bought this. I really wouldn't have. And because, you know, sometimes we like to try something, figure it's on sale, why not, right? So this is Califia, Califia brand almond milk nog. It's nog. It's nog. And I don't know about anybody else, but that was one of my favorite things during the holidays was eggnog. Although I make the best, and I haven't made it yet, I have to pick up some pears. I make, and I've, I've posted the recipe before in the group, but it's pistachio based. <sighs> Ooh, speaking of green, man, that, that actually sounds really good right now. I could make that up easily enough. I don't need the pears, but the pears kind of give it a nice creaminess as well on top of the pistachio. Pistacchio in Italiano. Pistacchio. Everybody loved That was one of my favorite all-time gelatos was pistacchio. Pistachio ice cream. Oh, especially when you get the little chunks of pistachio in it. Anybody else can relate to this? Am I the only one who has like this whole pistachio craving? So I have only certain, you know, there's only certain nuts that I really go nuts over. Pistachios, almonds, I love pecans. I wasn't a big pecan person growing up. Brazil nuts, macadamia nuts, oh. walnuts too. But I'm, I'd say pecans to me are sweeter than walnuts. There's other nuts too, but those are the ones that come to mind first. So as my fridge starts to realign itself in here, I have to start moving things, taking space. And so and I keep forgetting, but I didn't forget at the same time. I also need to make up some flavors of that coconut yo yogurt cheese that I made. Ooh, we're moving around all the over the kitchen. And so what I'm going to do, what else I have in here? I have a couple little treats. This is something new that I've tried and I, I'm hooked. And so Nature's Food Patch just started carrying it too. I didn't even have to go all the way to Whole Foods. I got a surprise for someone. upside down. Look what I found at the store up the street. This brand, Bomb Diggity Baby, 
nacho. I haven't tried, I don't think I tried the nacho. I tried the sea salt and I tried the lime. You take the lime and the coconut and shake it out of that. This brand, I have to tell you, the Siete. Siete is actually seven in Spanish. Cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, ground chia seeds, sea salt, tomato powder, nutritional yeast, smoked serrano powder, citric acid, jalapeno powder, toasted onion powder, roasted garlic powder. Mm mm mm, good. Sounds good to me. And the last, my favorite so far has been the sea salt. It was very simple, it was only a few ingredients, um, but all time yum. Like, really, my digestion didn't freak out from it. That says a lot for me because when I have chips a lot of times and I, I go through these phases where I have to have that crisp, crunchy and salty and I have a couple like sweet potato pr versions, um, let's see, late July and way better are the two that I usually reach for and they usually are too much salt. These seem to be just right for me. They don't make me wake up the next morning feeling like, you know, like where your eyes are all stuck together. Although I will say, when I'm having onions at night, this morning I woke up like this. Hold on, let me open my eyes. I could barely get them open. My eyes were just all poofy. Oh, And I don't know if that's in, in relation to my moon cycle too, because sometimes that happens, right? So it could be a combination of the two. But, okay, I have a quick and dirty secret when I go over to Nature's Food Patch. Every once in a while when I remember that they have this stuff, I'm a sweet potato fanatic. Anything of the gourds, anything of the sweet potato, there's something about that flavor. There's something about the seasons of, you know, the the the, the autumn harvest, the nutmeg ginger and cinnamon. Like those flavors for me are huge. They make a sweet potato hummus and I have I have made this before. But when I'm on a quick and dirty grab something, this stuff is the bomb diggity to, to have. So, chips and hummus to try later. But first, we're gonna make the, the food that is meant for dinner. The din din, it's din din time. And guess who's by the door because he heard me rattling the, ba the bag of chips, right? Oh, sweet. Somebody thought I had his food ready for him or a treat because when he hears the rattling he comes close to the door he's over the threshold by his paws I see you buddy he's like you looking at me I'm looking at you I'm looking at you looking at me <laughs> we love buddy he's the mascot right So do y'all recycle your bags too? So this is my other thing, like what I do, I have it all neat and organized as, as I should, right? If you know anything about me, I like to have things tidy, right? Oh yeah, I bet you can, Tom. 45 minutes, hopefully it doesn't take me that long. I'll give you the, I'll give you a heads up like when we're getting close. Just keep watching, you'll know when it's time to come in. Might have to jump over Buddy, though. Your love spin boom is going to not slide. It's going to jump and slide. Here's how tidy I am. I even have a little box with handles that tuck all of my paper bags in perfectly. Little OCD? No, it's called organized organized, compulsively devoted. I'm, re I'm totally gonna rewrite that, that OCD thing. I'm convinced because it's not a bad thing. It keeps me organized and it keeps me going out of my mind so that I know that when I gra need one, I just grab one, pull it out, and I use it for my recycling. I stopped using those, those bins and the trash cans and everything because they just take up too much space, right? That 
the fact that I have this whole cabinet over here that's so darn deep. I don't know why they make them so deep because who wants to reach all the way back? And literally this thing is like, oh my gosh, it's like two feet deep. It's my arm's length, right? Yeah, it's about two feet, don't you think? You put your arm all the way to the back, you have to, you can't even see what you're all grabbing. You're like, I think it's right here. Uh, yeah, that's kind of how I feel when I reach in there. It's crazy. Oof. Oofa. So in here we have, we're going to spiralize the zucchini tonight. I don't know how much we're going to end up needing. Didn't really pay too much attention to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sauce. Right? Oh, I'll save you some bites. You know I always do. Nourishing love bites, I call them. Or love bites, right? More so nourishing love bites. Because everything I make is made from my heart. I pour my love into it. I massage it in there. I feel it. You know, I just really am. Mm. That's why I love to prepare food. And why I'm so selective about who I share my food with, right? As well, anybody out there who can relate to this. Be discerning and where you focus and allow your energy to flow, right? Where attention goes, energy flows, and that's in everything we do. And so therefore, when you are engaged in your life fully, you can recognize where the, the energy is going to grow. So let's see, I'm going to peel off the skins first. Yeah, I'm still hungry. You can tell I'm hungry when I'm grabbing for stuff. Actually, I'm going to be naughty. This is what can be dangerous, okay? Oh, smell of vision, people? It's definitely cheesy. First, I'm gonna try it by one, one of it by itself. Okay, first we gotta breathe. Cause I'm so darn excited about this, I can feel the tension building in my throat. Like where I stop breathing properly. <sighs> I think I just, oh. <laughs> okay, that was unintentional. I had my own little mini joke going on. And I just spit like a piece of spinach <laughs> across <laughs> and it hit the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to my life. This is truly why I, I can't help but be humbled and laugh at myself, right? wings butterfly hugs and kisses you know spread your arms wide open your heart to receive and to give because it's receptive it's receptive like when you give you receive and when you allow yourself to receive you're also giving too it's there's no coincidence so first bite hmm. I can feel the Serrano chili. I like it. <laughs> just saying. I can't have just one. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm serious, like, the cassava flour is so light that when you eat this, it's like, it doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. That's huge because the chips that I've had, like I said, the way better and this 
the late July chips. They use like rice or something in them. And you know, rice for me is binding. Just saying. These, they cost a little bit more, so you gotta pay attention when they're on sale and buy some up. These are the bomb diggity, but my favorite truly are the sea salt. The lime were good too, but the sea salt were the best so far, is my opinion. Hi, Dad. Mmm. You're good. But to truly taste it, you sometimes you feel like you need a dip, right? So I'm going to try it with the hummus. Ooh. Again, smell a vision. Where is it when you need it? Y'all will be on top of this. It's garlicky. Mmm. So these are made in house at Nature's Food Patch. They make it themselves, okay? Sweet potatoes, garbanzo beans, sesame tahini paste, olive oil, fresh garlic, fresh parsley, sesame seeds, lemon juice, apple juice, cinnamon, ground ginger, sea salt, and black pepper. You can't get any more natural than that. And they use the apple juice as opposed to using any sugar because you're gonna get the sweetening from the apple juice. Apple juice, right? Like apple sauce. I got that breath thing going on again. Okay, I gotta do it. I like to think if I'm doing this, I'm not the only one out there who experiences where you catch yourself unable to get a full breath. It feels like you got a yawn and the yawn's not fully going through. <sighs> And if y'all want to see my dad in the kitchen, we're going to have to coax him. I don't know. Dad's kind of shy, but I really like when he joins me when I go live because my dad's so much fun to play with. And he's like a big kid. He's, he really, truly is a lot of fun. I love my daddy. This is where it's dangerous. Mmm. <laughs> Watch him, buddy. I like this flavor mix. It's very good. Oops. But truly, one more chip and I think I'll move on to the food. The actual food we're meant to eat tonight. And then these will be fun to play with later. But I don't think I'll eat the whole box of those because I'm a bag. Mm. I do really like the Serrano chili after flight effect because I love spicy. Mm. They're good. They're very good. So yeah, I can actually give my seal of approval on those chips. They are bomb diggity yummy. And these, of course, sweet potato hummus. Hummus. And of course, you don't necessarily need the olive oil. I'm going to make some, I haven't made it yet. I keep meaning to do it, to make that, that hummus with the sweet potatoes, and I've done it before. And you can use, instead of the oil, you can use avocado or you just use a little bit of the oil that's in the separated portion of the sesame tahini just suggestions because refined oils we really don't need any more of that in our diets that's actually what causes a lot of heaviness in us it, it, it actually clogs our arteries because it's not a whole food so the very first thing we're gonna do is reach in here for the we're going to peel the skin off, and we need that knife, because y'all know me. Lickety split over here. Because if it's that good, you don't want to miss a beat, right? So, here we go. Oh, 
here we go. Okay, so this one, this one definitely is getting cut up. So what's for dindin, everyone out there? You got anything special cooking or prepping? I wouldn't peel the skin if it wasn't for the fact that these are not organic. When I grow my own or if they're organic, I don't, I just clean them really, really well. And the other thing to keep in mind when you're when you're working with, and you have to be careful because they're slippery little suckers. This thing go flying across the room. That's all I'm gonna say. It gets it's got this like enzyme, which is good for you, by the way. Could probably use it on your skin. You know, there's something you don't think about. Like while you're busy getting down in your kitchen, you could be slathering all the food on yourself because guess what? It's skin food. And you should be able to put on your body whatever you would put in your mouth. Because your, your, your skin is your largest living, breathing organ. And so it takes 26 seconds for anything to penetrate your skin layer, your epidermis, and enter through the bloodstream into your actual system. Scary. Especially because most of the times we take it for granted and, and ignore the fact that we, we get splashed with petrol. And then there's heavy metals in petrol, right? And so, we're going to take some plates out just so I can have space. And place the already ready to... This is so much fun. Y'all know how I get down. I love, to get, I love to get jiggy with my kitchen, my food prep, and eating like crazy. Doobie doobie doo. So, I know Thanksgiving is upon us. I keep forgetting and then being reminded, right? I don't have any particular plans. What do y'all have planned for this let's be thankful giving? Let's give thanks, right? The other thing is, is whenever you utilize um, knives or peelers like this, on zucchini or squash because of this enzyme you want to make sure you really clean it well and I don't mean rinse it because if you rinse it you're going to dull your knives you're going to dull whatever it is you just utilize to peel it because uh oh that's my that's my uh, that's my dryer freaking out all of a sudden it, it's kind of possessed and it talks to me after that sometimes Or it's just telling me there's stuff in the dryer that I hadn't taken out yet. So, there's two. We got a third one. We got a live one here. And these are just perfect too, so we shouldn't have any mushy mushy going on, right? So we're spiralizing zucchini. This is what I'm doing right now is I'm preparing so that I can spiralize. Now I have these spiralizers that I picked up and they're real small. I wasn't impressed by them. In fact, I think they're they're probably good if you're traveling and you need to have something, you know, small enough to carry in your your luggage or wherever you're going. But ultimately, I personally prefer my there's different brands out there for spiralizers, but the one I use with the handle and the crank, it's a little bit messier, it's a little bigger, bulkier. But it works a lot more efficiently for me. <clears throat> Let's see if I have to cut these down because they are kind of long. Yeah, share with us what is it that you're preparing tonight? What are you preparing for Thanksgiving? So I have some of my own. That's beautiful. Being with your family at home, don't have to go anywhere. That's always the best way to enjoy it, right? My family, Thanksgiving is, is Thanksgiving and, and Christmas feed food in our family. I'm going to tell you, my dad, bomb diggity cook, okay? 
I grew up, I was very blessed to have exposure to my dad and his cooking. I, my dad had a pizzeria sub shop, but even without that, I mean, we got, we ate some of the most, what most people would consider gourmet breakfast. You know, pancakes on the weekends and, and dropped egg on toast or, you know, long before I'd ever been into a McDonald's, we had a version of an Egg McMuffin. The um, dad would get the English muffins and he'd toast them and then he'd do like, he did it a couple ways. He might do it, you know, sunny side up on the grill and then put it in between with some cheese. Or he would, he would do the dropped egg, the poached egg in the water and then put it on there with the cheese or whatever. For me, buttered toast. So tonight, I'm in Nature's Food Patch and they had a taste test. And I've, you know, whenever I see taste tests, you know, like little tables, little sampler tables, I kind of look, but then I get a little bit turned off because most of the times, because I'm allergic to gluten and wheat, I pretty much avoid anything that looks of a bread, bread nature. So I go over to this gentleman and he's got a table and I'm just like, I immediately started turning my head and goes, there's probably nothing there I can eat. But then he goes, I said, because it's probably not gluten free. He goes, oh no, it is. It's almond flour. So I, I don't eat eggs or anything like that. But every once in a while, I'm just curious. And a little sample with a little egg is not going to kill me. But here's what I did. I tried it. It was really, really good. Did I buy it? No. Because I don't need it. But you know, sometimes I miss having toast. Sometimes I miss that buttered toast crunch. I know for me, it was a comfort food. Ultimately, that was uh, one of my go-tos. Growing up, when we didn't have any food in the house, I don't know what it was about my mother, but she would always make sure there was some sort of a, we didn't have any money or we, my, my sisters would eat ramen noodles, which for me made me just sick. I could never eat ramen noodles. They made me sick. And that should have been my big sign. Not to mention the fact they're full of MSG, right? So, my mom would bring home the honey oatmeal breads and, you know, these gourmet breads. <laughs> there'd be no other food in the house, but there'd be gourmet bread and some butter. So, my sisters and I would be toasting these fancy breads, like the dill or the, um, uh, what is the caraway seed type breads and things like that. Really flavorful right? Here we are toasting and eating bread, at toast, you know, with the butter. Hey, you know, that's, go figure, when there was nothing there, that's what we had available. So there's no coincidence that to me, that's a comfort food, and it's one of the things I crave, because when you, you're trying to nurture yourself, you're trying to nourish yourself, and that's, in a, that's kind of like a replacement for the love that you feel you needed or maybe missed at some point in your life. It's no... It's no coincidence why we reach for foods that we reach for. And I know that for myself, and I own that, and I appreciate the awareness that I have to see it. If we can't own and be aware and look and confront our own stuff, nobody's going to be able to tell us what is going on with us. We have to go inside. That's an inside job. Nobody knows but us, right? why we respond or react to a scenario is really what's inside of us, right? So, and so my allergies apparently have been all my life, but you know, they didn't know about that back in the 70s and the 80s. They didn't know that, oh, by the way, you know, if you have this issue going to the bathroom, if you're constipated all the time, if you're not even going once a week, or maybe you are, that's as much as you're going, it's not healthy, right? So much more available out there for information to really make more informed decisions. But the biggest thing you can do is learn to tap into your body's wisdom and really go within and learn what is it that resonates and works in your body. And, and eating whole foods, plant-based, you know, changing up things, trying something different. Getting out of the idea that, well, this is the way I've always been or this is just the way it is. Let that stuff go. Rewrite your story because that's ultimately going to be your victory, right? Your victory over the story will be to rewrite it the way you wish it to be. So, we've now peeled that and now comes the big bowl. I think I want another bite of some greens over here. 
Get in my belly. It's green time. That might be a little too much. I hope you make it in time for the food. 40 minutes, that seems like a long time. Fire mm. with zucchini, yellow squash, and a sauce. As soon as these are spiralized, I'm going to mix in the sauce, which is the lemon tahini sauce that I made the other night. And this is a great way to allow yourself, like, start out at the beginning of the week. That sauce will last up to five days or so, maybe less. In my house, it won't last very long at all if it lasts a couple days. And when you have a sauce made, you can use it in different ways. So if you're trying to plan for the week, this is one way to eliminate one extra thing you're going to have to do, right? Yeah. And I love to say courgette, right? So the British term for zucchini, or even the French, the courgette, is another way to say it. It sounds so much more refined. Zucchini, you know, zucchini. It's also the Italian way to say zucchini. Or courgette, right? I think there's such elegance in words and just changing up how we present ourselves and, and how the vibration comes out of our mouth and the words that we speak, right? Which is why it's so powerful to be very selective what it is you say and to say it from the navel through the heart so you communicate it effectively. have watched me in the past you know that I can kind of take a little longer but I hope that you glean something that's inspirational at the same time right so it's time to spiralize the zucchini get in the bowl we tell the zucchini get in the bowl and make sure you're hydrating hydration is key I got lots of hair going on around here tonight Hmm. So, here's the fun part. Let's see how good we can do this tonight. We'll start with dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun Okay, just so you know, this is what it's looking like. Y'all dancing out there? Come on, put on some music. Pretend you're like in the kitchen with me. I want to see you get up and dance. You know, that's my favorite thing to do. Let's start out with a good dance. Move it or lose it, baby. You got to move that body. Shake that body, move that body, shake that body. Get up and dance, dance for me, baby. I'm telling you, that's my challenge to all of y'all. If you didn't hear, hear me the other day, I want you to all do a challenge. Make sure you select, might have been earlier today, I don't even know, I'm losing track of myself here. Select a song, one of your favorite songs, search it on YouTube, Make sure it's a concert variation. Make it like the worst quality because Facebook seems to tag the lot, the real stuff like if it's on a ch TV channel and it also tags, it catches the copyright music. So if it's recorded, it'll catch it. What you want is an amateur video of a concert and let it be all <laughs> scratchy, noisy, whatever. Mm. This is the best part. Hey, buddy, you want a piece? Watch this. 
He might come in here after me giving him one piece. I have to share. He's he's so good over there. Plus, I got a lot going on here. Next. So I want to see each and every one of you rockin' rad stars go into the group. You can do it pre-recorded if, if it's too much for you to go live, but all the better, all the merrier. Let's see how many people we can get in there to go live and to move their bodies and dance. Dance for yourself, it's not for us, this is for you. And you'll find how, it, how liberating it, it is, how freely you can express yourself. Just get up and dance. Don't even look at the camera. Just do it, right? We're, I'm encouraging you specifically because I know that it changes your physiology and it gives you that boost of happy hormones. Number one, while you're dancing, but second, because you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're stepping into your courage. You're exercising that courage muscle that when you get up and you dance and you do it, just do it. Just push play. This is your playground. Remember when you were kids, you never even questioned anybody looking at you. You really didn't care. You get up on those monkey bars, you just start swinging. The minute someone told you to do it was a totally different story. So just do it for you. Take the challenge. Take the plunge. Get jiggy with it. Let the noodles fall as they may. Get kooky, get zooky, right? Whoops, I think I missed the bowl on this part of this. Hey, I'm getting better at this, really. Even I have to step out of my comfort zone. And it, it feels good, it's liberating. And I can, I can witness and I can recognize where my mind gets all trapped up there and thinking I need to do things a certain way. I almost thought this little critter was going to try to hang out in there. Mm, this is the best part. Did you like that, buddy? Oh, watch this. Here he comes. He's like, I liked it. Let me come and get the other piece. Ready? Can you see him over here? Can you see, buddy? You can't even see, buddy. Come here. I'll let you. But you have to be gentle. Can you see him now? Come here. Come here. Ready? Ready? <laughs> He's super good, isn't he? He likes the zucchini. That actually that is a yellow squash. And he's gonna clean the floor now. Or so he thinks that, you know, there's more to it. And there is, but I have to wait. Okay, buddy. Go in the other room now. Thank you. See how good he is? Because he knows he's fed well and he's taken very good care of. There's lots of love in his, his little life over here. There's no coincidence his name is Buddy, by the way. I took him for a walk the other day and man, I had people like he was just running up and saying hi to everybody. And I'm like, his name's Buddy. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> Sit. Nope, nope. Out of the kitchen. Sit down, lay down. Down, down. Good boy. I let him guard the door. Nobody's going to get in here with his, without his approval. <sighs> Moving on. We have three more to go. Any song requests? Would you like me to sing a beat? I don't think so. <laughs> Actually, I'll try. If you have a request, I will try to sing it. Can't guarantee I remember all the words, because even if I don't remember the words, I'll make stuff up. But I do like to sing. I love to sing mantra. Not in my bed. No, he does not sleep with me. Years ago, even when I had my angel... I can't get used to, that's part of my own little personal mini heart attack is having dog fur and outside dirt and elements. 
but he is super cuddly. He loves his huggies. Rub him down his belly. Loves, he has a special spot on his neck. He has a, a dirt pit he seems to like to sit in. I should say a sand pit he's created. And so he needs a really good bath, a good bathing. So it's gonna be one of two things. Either I'm gonna go find my old soap that I used to use, because I had a shampoo that I used on Angel. And it worked really well for fleas too, if, if we even encounter that. We've been pretty, pretty fortunate. Right, buddy? Or I'm gonna go and find a sweet ninja special place to bring him for a, ba a doggy bath. Or maybe they'll even trim up his nails a little bit more. He's, he's so happy when I take him out on, on a walk. <laughs> when I took him out the other day, he, he, was, he was dragging me and then I was having to basically drag him home. I always feel bad about that. I haven't figured out how far to take him before he starts to go, I'm dying. But the cool thing about the walk is, is there's water paths. They have, um, they have a, a bowl of water where they fill it for the dogs, for the pets. So mantra, in case anybody out there. Mm. Mantra basically is something to distract your, your, your crazy noisy mind, right? So you can change your vibration. You can change your state, your physiology, by instead of focusing on these crazy thoughts we have, you can use mantra to give it a focus. Just like bij, bij means planting a seed. So you you choose a bij mantra to seed. So the mantra has a vibration. The mantra that you choose will have that upliftment of whatever the intention behind the mantra is. For example, buddy. For example, Ekonkar Sat Guru Prasad Sat Guru Prasad Ekonkar will cut through negativity. It will reverse it. It will bring in positivity. And you say that three times, no, five times. Say it five times if your mind is getting really fixated on something. It's, it's become my go-to when my mind is just going out of its, you know, go, I'm going out of my mind, I should say, my mind. I'm going too far into my mind, I'm out of my mind. We say we're going out of our minds. The irony is we're full on in our minds. Isn't that the irony? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Out of the kitchen, buddy, thank you. When you say, I'm going out of my mind, remember this. This is an epiphany for myself because it's too funny not to catch, right? Recognize that when you think you're going out of your mind, you're really full on in your mind. Hashtag that, write that down because that is the truth. Truth bomb, hashtag truth bomb. When you're going out of your mind, you're really going full on in the mind, right? I'm gonna have to remember to write that down. So if y'all don't write it down, I'm gonna have to go figure it out and write it down. Please let me remember that. I don't necessarily go back and rewatch these videos. But that is a truth bomb for sure. When you're going out of your mind, when you think you're going out of your mind, you're really going full on in the mind. Two more zucchinis and then I'm pouring the sauce on, baby. And then cutting up a few tomatoes and throwing them in there. First, I'll try it without the tomatoes, but I'll cut the tomatoes too. This is so much fun. You get a little workout, you know, working my abdominals, swinging my hair around, trying not to spiralize my hair. Actually, when I was younger, I always wanted my hair to be curly and wavy because my hair was pretty straight. And you just, I've always been long. I've always preferred my hair long. It's a lot easier to maintain in my own life but like let me get this out of the way so my hair comes down past my butt or at least down there and it's a lot of work to wash but I know that if I throw it up it's out of my way and it's easier to maintain 
On the other hand, I've had short hair. And what a pain for me. That was more work than, that took more styling than anything. Mm. You want another piece, buddy? Ready? Come show everyone how good you are. Everybody loves Buddy, right? Are you getting full on in the camera? Come here. Come here. Oh, oh. Ready? Good boy. Good boy. You got one more coming. And he the awesome, awesome sauce. He's the awesome sauce doggy. Thank you. Mmm. So as I go, the thing that gets everything caught up in these is when it gets all stuck in here. And so when you're actually spiralizing, my recommendation is just sweep through it. Just don't be careful of your fingers with the blades because what's happening is the enzymes will actually cause it to be, it'll goop, goop up, let's say. So far, as far as my hair products, I just wanted to share also that what I've found to be the my favorite so far has been the Alafia brand. And the reason is because I really love the smell. Love the smell of the neem and the rosemary blend. And that, I mean, it stays in my hair and I just, just the, the smell. And they have a spray, so I, when I went to Nature's Food Patch, and I always do this, I go over to the hair, the, the, uh, the, the skin care and the products and I spray myself right so tonight it was the neem reishi mushroom uh, spray and I absolutely love hydrosols and just hydrating my face right mm. Leanne oh you always had long hair too what happened and then there was a, a rose one that I put on too but ultimately I just the smell of neem This bowl is jelly. Mm -hmm. Getting jiggy with it. Sometimes a little kooky here, so you know it's all about the zooks and the kooks. Ooh, my thumb's starting to cramp up on me. Just be careful, too. This part here, this thing here, it's, it's spiky. Kind of dangerous. Hmm. And there's those pesky ants again. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Y'all, what's your favorite dog food? Do you have a favorite perfect dog food that doesn't have a bunch of fillers and crap in it? Every time I go looking, and when I used to have Angel, I used certain brands. And they keep changing their ingredients. It's so deceiving. And I have to go and see. There were some other things that I used to like to use. And now i got to do a little research. A lot of reconnaissance. Mm. I remember how thick your hair was, Leanne. Oops. Watch this. Buddy. He didn't miss a beat. Let me tell you. He comes in here, he gets one little thing that hits the floor, and he starts sweeping up the floor with his tongue. There is a benefit in that respect to having pets. Fortunately, I've not experienced. See, and I used to do blue buffalo too, but they were using canola oil, and that really upset me. So that's done. I will wash that as soon as I'm done. I would do it now, but I'm trying to be effective with my time. Okay, so by the time Tom gets here, this will be ready to eat. And so, sauce time.
Mm, maybe I will wash this real quick. It doesn't take that long. It's actually easier. I'll show you a little trick. Since I bought this tool, I'm so happy. It's not a tool, technically. It's just smarter. You think smarter, not harder, right? This thing here is the greatest. I get it a little wet. You don't even need to dip this. You just, because this is how easy. You just get a little bit on the tip because you y'all know when you, you go like this, all of a sudden it's, it's all over the top, right? You don't have to use a lot of anything. And then you can just go in and you don't have to touch it or worry about getting the blade or getting cutting yourself, which I'm very good at doing, by the way. I'm kind of sometimes, kind of sometimes I say, because I'm rewriting that story. In my life, I have been slightly accident prone. Hence my big, my little toes and, you know, bumping my knees and bruising myself, walking into trees. I didn't see that coming. Squirrel. Anybody else get distracted, right? It's really great though, this little little brush thing, because then you can get in between like areas you can't even get a sponge in there, right? And so we have, and then the other thing that's great, check this out, this thing, that's hard. You can't use a sponge in that. You can just go in like that and look, you got it. You got this. It's so much easier. I'm so grateful I found this thing and I invested in it. It's, it's like three bucks or something crazy. Maybe five bucks. I could be wrong, but I'm just going to say that it was an effective purchase and it was worth every penny. And I'm always on the look for things that are going to make my life a lot easier. But I'm not making myself crazy doing everything. And then, of course, with this bigger piece, I have to use this to go. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but see, it just perfectly slides right through. That's a little bit of my organized comfort dedication. It's not OCD in the bad sense, it's in the, in the keeping it real and staying raw, keeping it raw, staying rad. It's a happy night, you know, I, I had a really good productive day, happy about my smoothies, making a mess over here, there's a whole lot of ants growing on. I don't know, you know, clearly when the rain is coming, there's another thing. So, I, I think Tom's trying to speed me up, so that's a good thing because sometimes I need to check on time. So, time management something I'm working on as I clean up my little space over here. And back to, real quick, again, this thing here, this thing here. Don't even have to touch it with your fingers. Makes life so much easier. And so, I'm gonna pull out the sauce. Lemon tahini sauce is the bomb. Diggity. And I know I have two containers and I might need only one, but we'll find out when we start pouring it in. I know I need at least one. Oh, buddy, you missed a spot. Hey, buddy. Come here. Look. What? No. Stop. Out of the kitchen. He ate everything but what I put down this last time. This stuff. Again, smell a vision. You don't know what you're missing here. Mmm, oh. it's cheesy. It's very cheesy. It's so thick. And here's the thing. Zucchini, the squash, they actually sweat. I hear noise. Do you hear noise? Watch where you step. Somebody left some food behind. His buddies. Yep. It was buddies. And so because the zucchini, whoops, there's another piece here. 
the zucchini and the squash, they sweat, it actually will thin it out a little. Whatever doesn't come out, I'm just gonna have to spoon it out. Say hello. This is fun. I wonder if it tags me. Nope, didn't tag me. Why would it tag you? I don't know. It's curious though. It's Put fun. Put me to work. What do I do? Oh wait, y'all. Take some photos. Got an idea. Huggy. <laughs> Watch this. Thirty second huggy. <laughs> Are you gonna go? Y'all count. <laughs> We laughed the whole time. <laughs> She's like a cartoon character, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's your idea. It's a good idea. Yeah, huggies. Huggies are good ideas. <laughs> Are we talking about something else? <laughs> Ooh, you got those chips. <laughs> Try one. You can't just have one. These are really, really rad. The Siete? Siete? Siete. Siete brand. They're like super optimal, right? Very minimal ingredients. You go over them already? Yeah. Siete forever. These are really, really good. They're five bucks, right? Yeah. Boom! Boom! And I got Boom. those at Nature's Food Patch. They just started selling those there. Yeah, Nature's Food Patch is the best place that I like out of all of them, huh? Mm-hmm. It's like seven minutes from my house, which is the bomb. The only thing, though, is I'm hardly eating any packaged products. And when I do eat these, even though these are optimal, I can feel it rather than the whole fresh real foods. So this is like a super treat even before when I was doing product reviews. It's just like, you just don't need it. It's, it's like a super treat, huh? I still like the plain just sea salt ones the best. And you can just eat one, even though they're like the optimal ones because it still has, you know, You want to see how we take these really rad photos? I'm going to share. I've been having a lot of fun playing with the photography. So every day, Miss Anna and I upload maybe three or four rep rep seeds. <laughs> <laughs> three or four recipes. And on Ninja Flip Outsider, we'll do it in here. And uh, we have a whole bunch of devices between iPhones, Androids, and tablets. We have like five or six That's different so devices. Fun plus computers and all. It takes a lot, y'all, to, to spread the love like we do. But this right here is an iPhone 7, and you have the little red, uh, I call it a, a widget, a pop widget. And uh, so we have three of these iPhones, and so it's really cool, so you take photography, you just kind of hold it like this. And, and I've been playing around with the portrait mode. So the portrait mode, you have to have really good lighting. And what it does, it automatically, you have to stand eight feet or within and it zooms in on like the rad little recipe, whatever it is, the ingredient of the dish, and then it blurs the background. And so we like to do it in here with like the fresh produce or we like to go outside and it's a lot of fun. You know, you could learn, all you need is a pretty rad device and you could be your own photographer. There's really no need to um, hire a photographer anymore, if you know what I'm saying. And I worked at, at NATO as a uh, uh, photog, um, the public relations. So I've worked with Nikons I worked with uh, Photoshop and all that stuff, and all honesty, these these devices are so much easier. You know, just get the the uh, apps that are out there, and you can play with all the different filters. I personally am not a huge filter fan, just because I like to manually go in there and get rid of shadows and work on all the different uh, stuff. So then we've got two of these, and then we have two really, really large one of these, and so lighting is really, really key. And I think I might have just broke this, but we'll see. But these are really cool. You can get these on Amazon. You know, they, they go pretty high. And then we have two large ones that are portable. So if y'all want to go Facebook Live, it's all about, you know, investing, you know, and then just keep playing and playing and playing and practicing. And so you just, um, 
you know, it's really, really fun when you have the right equipment and then, you know, you want to build that confidence. And so you want the right lighting, you know, you want to make sure your phone's charged, all that fun stuff. And, and you know, you get better the more you practice. Like if you all have seen, in my opinion, I think our photography has gotten a lot better, huh? Because mm -hmm. we just keep playing. So I'm going to set this up. And Lana is just a straight magician in here with her food. These are huge. I told you, they're jumbo. Did you show them this? Yeah, I, I, care, I took all three of them out. What? Those are huge. These are sweet potatoes, right? They're jumbo sweet potatoes. Tell them what you're doing here. Oh, that's fennel. So I took, I cut the bottom of fennel off, of a fennel bulb, and I put it in water and it's already sprouting. Look at those pretty little green shoots. No. I'm really good at that part. It's the part where I need to put them in the dirt. That's usually the, when they don't make it. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? And I think I need to add a little bit more salt and nutritional yeast just because. <clears throat> Did y'all like my lemon unicorn babufa photo? <laughs> that was so much fun to do. Y'all just be yourself. If you could be a unicorn, be a unicorn too, but just be yourself. Or maybe a lemon unicorn. Or a lemon unicorn. Hi Kelly Clark. So I need salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's here and we're in a fix. Want you to push it good. Who be my days and my nights? Fucking up a sweat. Come on boy, let's go and turn, 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 turn. <laughs> Salt and pepper used to be huge, remember that? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was in high school, baby. Salty dog. We're in Florida. Salt dog. You see all these stickers on cars down here. I eat a lot. I eat a lot less salt now. So the salt will also make it sweat a little bit more. These are like candy. Hi, Christy. Fafa? Fafa. Fafa? Is that Italian? No, I think it's German. Do I look a lot different with these little ninja shades on, huh? Because I can see. Favorite. I like them in those. I like you in those. We're making it extra cheesy tonight because we're feeling cheesy. Extra cheesy. Extra cheesy. What, what? Boom! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all gonna see us, we're gonna take a photo of this too. And right, we'll share the recipe. We pretty much shared the tahini sauce, so all you need to do is just spiralize some zucchini, maybe even cut up some uh, tomatoes. We got the other tomatoes, but I think we're gonna put the little tomatoes. Some basil if you want, do whatever you want. What, what? That was rad. That was cool. Oh, you know what? I wanted you to try this. Ready? Yeah. So good. That's so good. Want some more? Mm -mm. Okay. Very, very good. That's like um, like the cheese whiz, but ten times better. That's the lemon tahini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Told you couldn't eat just one. Um. But we got this going on over here. I added some more salt and some pepper because just to kind of kick the flavor along with the nutritional yeast. Do you want to choose the plate that we're going to plate it in so we can show them how we do our picks? 
and then we can stick out some uh, salt life, I'm telling you. You want to plate it up on a plate? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because I know how you like to take the pictures. Go ahead. What are we doing? Where's it at? You got any one of Take one of the pretty ones. Yours. The bullish plate, maybe, or the, this one of these. That's what I'm thinking. Your favorite. Your favorite. You. Let's see. The blue. You want it on blue? Yes. I thought you liked those. But it's but it's like clear though. It'll change with contrast. It's up to you. We could use my brown one, my my Portuguese one, Portugal. How about that? That's fine too. You are the photographer tonight, so I let you choose, and you get to taste. You haven't missed anything yet. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> Oops. You're going to have to come closer. I know you're afraid, but don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Can you hear that? Listen, here, watch. <laughs> Dip into that while you're doing that. Just go up and down. That's Seriously, so like, really. You can taste the flavors. Hear it. See it, taste it, touch it, smell it. All your senses alive. Look at that. It's ridiculously Boom. gorgeous, darling. For reals, that's you don't even need anything on that, right? For the photo? Well, I mean if you want some tomatoes around it maybe to garnish. Would you ever put cilantro on this? Cilantro. I also have some cilantro, but I also got some parsley in there too. Look at that, right? So we could do a little cilantro, we could go parsley. Prezzemolo in Italian. <laughs> What's so funny? Keep going. <laughs> Prezzemolo is Italian for parsley. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm almost pretty sure it's. And when you do this, you gotta grab. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta really get it. You go. You. I mean, I burn like 75 calories every time I do it. I mean, you just gotta get in there, okay? <laughs> And you know, I can't do it yet because I haven't tasted it yet. It's only when it's like legit, legit, legit. But we'll, I'm going to take a photo of this. So. Buttons on your underwear. My little sister and I, whenever we say, so, buttons on your underwear. I don't know where that came from. It just did. did. And here's the secret, when you're taking rad photos and you got like produce, the stickers on it, take the stickers off, because then it's really not a rad photo. You know, you want it really cool, so take the photos off. That's why I'm gonna put these bananas over here. Assume the position. It's really good if you have a helper too, because the lighting is perfect. And then you gotta move it around and move it, or the lighting has to be perfect. So look, then you put it on portrait, right? And then it adds a depth effect and it has to have HD and depth when that yellow comes on. Is that good? That looks pretty, that looks, how about that? Beautiful. You think? I agree. Or that. That, that. That, more, more, so more, like more undulation. HD's not on. But you're on portrait? Oh, the HDR, I see what you're saying. Oh my god, look at that. I love the first one there. Oh, that should be perfect. I could get up all up in there. <laughs> no, seriously. Look, that's how you do it. Look how rad that is. Down and it's so much fun. You go outside, it's really cool to put it like in grass or by red flowers or like vegetation. And you can make like the coolest thing. Look at that. Miss Lana made that. She is a magician. Her food is amazing too. When she comes up in here and spread the love, y'all, 
Her prep is next level. Next level. She'll spend three hours in the kitchen on her feet. She'll spend like an hour on one tomato. Just prepping it ninja thumb style. Ninja thumb. Like she gets every like little just anything. Like she could spend two hours prepping this. No. Because she goes deep, y'all. So when if you ever have the chance to eat her food... Y'all, Ninja Flip do a love spin boom and be very, very thankful. And I mean, look what it turns into. Like, look at that. That's why I had to come over here. I was like, well, I don't want to eat, right? Va, va, boom, baby. So how should we just like that? Just eat it like that, huh? Unless you want something else with it. Would you throw... I have to feed it to you because this is... One thing that I'm learning is like, um, cause I'm, I'm not consuming that much salt and I can tell I'm not holding that much water and I haven't got to play that much because we're building you this rad playground and it takes a lot of work y'all. Like we're like, cause optimal reset. And then, and then when I started collabing with Miss Lana five, four or five months ago, between the two of us, we probably have, I don't know. We probably have 13,000 hours in this. 13,000 hours and I know personally me, you know, I've got like eight grand in it But I made a lot of mistakes back in last December, but um, you know I just the reason why you know, we're doing this is because I, Personally when I wanted help and wanted to find What was optimal for not just nutrition or fitness, but for self-being or well, you know help being healthy is I wish I had some rad little ninjas that could tell me their journey or a community that could tell me their journey and uh, they didn't feel judged. And so it takes a lot of work. So I haven't got to play that much. And the weather here is really, really rad. So I want to run. But um, so I've been eating a lot of her food. And I haven't been able to really run and sweat that much. But what I have found is eliminating the majority of the salt. You know, because that's where I'm at right now. Um, it takes a while because you're still like, oh, I still want some more salt. I want some more salt. And that's where my daughter Jordan is. It's that sodium, sodium, sodium. But, you know, it's, you can taste more of the flavors, especially if you're not flavor combining as much. If you stick to like maybe five ingredients or less, you really hone in, in my opinion, like each individual ingredient rather than the salt just hitting your, your taste buds right away in your mouth. So, and I'm not holding as much water, like, so I'm getting thinner. So, but you could, without salt, you could put capers on there, even though capers have that brine, right? Yeah, the brine. You, do you realize that, that the capers I've been using, I had to actually pour out the original brine. It was so salty. Put them in a new jar and wow. pour water in them. They were that salty. And so you, you've tried oh, my wow. capers. Yeah. And those they're still kind are, of salty. They're super salty. Wow. And so I like to rinse out. Because it's just too too much. Look at that! You put you did an extra little thing on there. Now look how cheesy it is, right? We should we should take a we should take a photo like that. That looks like, y'all. Look at that. Right? Okay. So if you want another picture, you better do it. No, I think we're good. Give me, give me. I'm gonna feed you. Where's it? No, no, I got it. I, you you sure? need to feed me. Yeah. Okay, okay. I need this is a guadamuze, a guadamuze thing. Have you tried it yet? The whole thing. What do you think? Oh yeah, she's, and she's like a ninja licker she licks everything she licks her blender so sit here and get her whole finger in the blender in every dish she'll lick this she'll lick that like we're gonna make a video of her just licking but i don't blame her because her sauces are just so next level It's so good. It's so good. Very dehydrating. You got the water in there, the crunch, the cheesy. It's like thick too. And at this point, I don't even, I don't even need like like hot food. I'm not even desiring like hot food. Sometimes it's kind of cool to get, you know, like a soup straight out of the blender that's a little bit warm. Mhm. Mm you just get see how she's licking that as we're talking. <laughs> This is how I roll. This is just how I do it. Hi, Twyla. I got it right this time, right? I love that, Twyla. Like Twilight, that's beautiful. It sounds better, actually. That's good. Now, if you wanted some healthy fats, you could put some avocado on the side. You could, but there's already the healthy fat of the sesame tahini. Mm -hmm. And that's the part people forget. 
is how right. how fat saturated. But everybody remember, it's it's gonna be really hard for somebody to get used to this right off the bat. Like every time I want to add something, she'll be like, well, no, no, no. So we have to keep in mind, everybody is at a different place. If she's like, well, you don't need salt. Well, maybe I need me some salt. Or if I'm like, I want some avocado. Let that person, whatever they want, let them have it. Okay? Because they have to get there at a certain... Give it up. <laughs> they have to get there at their own rate. You know what I mean? And so I learned with Jordan that I couldn't, I couldn't do this. You know, it's really good to hear somebody else's. And that's why it's sweet to hang out with Miss Lana. She's a little Miss Sensei. Sometimes it's stressful because it's like, okay, well, I'm not there. I'm not there yet. But like four days later, I'll be like, okay, she was kind of right on whatever she said. You know what I mean? So you just kind of learn. But if, if you if you force someone to do something and you're not kind about it and you just kind of judge them, then they're just going to quit. And they'll be like, all right, I'm going to Mickey D's. I'm going to go to Artie's. I'm going to go to Jack in the Box. I'm going to go eat. You know, and then they're going to feel bad. And then for me, once I had stopped that back, because I stopped Optimal Reset five years ago, I started this. And so I've made a lot of progress, but I know I'd get, I'd hit a speed bump and I'd go get fast food or do whatever. And then I would, I would get off that, that healthy lifestyle for months, a couple months, and then you got to start over. So baby steps for everyone and everyone, you know, I'm not on her level yet. She's not on my level yet. You know what I mean? We're not on your level. And so just grace, gracefully, gracefully. Divine dance, the grace and ease. Yeah. Move through life. Yeah. Like the river. The water flows. She isn't she hot? Oh. You're <laughs> making me blush. <laughs> I'm trying to get the last little bits on this. It, it looks, really is that good. It looks like I'm bald right there. But Where? Then I got my mohawk. Now I'm bald. That's an eight year difference. That's like 48. And that's 17. I don't know why. He's a cutie patootie, isn't he? Like, okay, I'll say he's super hot too. Super rad over here. I told him he'd be hot with if he shaved his head. Don't y'all agree? Mohawk and no mohawk. It's mohawk forever. Exactly. It's fun. I can't wait to see when it's down between your butt cheeks. Mm. <laughs> Rainbow colored. I made a new word up. It's called butt cleavage, remember? <laughs> I forgot about that. So if I got three strands left and my delicious mohawk, it's not going to be between my butt cheeks. It's going to be between my butt cleave. Right? Butt cleave? I love that word. You're like, yo, your butt cleave showing. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> Take the crack back. It's a butt cleave. <laughs> this is definitely... <clears throat> Here it comes, darling. Very, very good. Mm. Very, very good. It is... What a mozz. And I don't even know what that means. It's a made up word. Look, you could just. Soupy. You could just. You can get a straw. Or a spoon. Yeah, this is good. Just eat it. It's like a soup, too, huh? Look. diggity right mm -hmm. and so tonight my my initial plan was to pick up some cauliflower and I was going to put it in the food processor and chop it up and then add the sauce and some some different like the cut up tomatoes and all that but this is lighter for now and because we have Thanksgiving coming up there's some things that I usually like to make around Thanksgiving I haven't even had any cranberries and that'll be like Thanksgiving cram uh, Christmas time that for me, holiday items that I will make, I'll make like a kombucha, uh, what is it called? Like a, a relish, a um, what's it? chutney. A, a, a chutney made with kombucha and the cranberries chopped up. And the onions, super yum. 
right? That sounds really good. And then I'll also cut up portobello mushrooms in long slices and I'll marinate them. So they're like a turkey, like a variation on what people would do a turkey. It's very filling, except for you're getting vitamin D from it. And then I'll also do uh, like the cauliflower mash, right? And that's super light. But then the sweet potatoes, I'm telling you, this is the year for sweet, you know, this is the time of year I love my sweet potatoes, my yams, my, my gourds and all that. So you can make a sweet potato puree. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm going to wrap this up. Me too. Hmm, I need to wrap up and eat this. You all need to try her food. Y'all, thank you. Ninja Flip over the group. Introduce yourself if you haven't. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. I know we're going to be on this, uh, this channel right here for the next five days. So set your notifications. And uh, we love y'all. Check mm. it. Ooh. Hi Orlando. Hi Jennifer. Let me close you it up. More to take with you. You're good. good. Love you. Bye, honey. So, butternut squash soup, right, Wenda? Yummy. Like, I am all over all of that. That's some of my favorite stuff to eat around this time of year, and it's so healthy for you because then you're getting the beta carotenes, right? When it's orange flavored. I say orange flavored, I, I mean orange color. You're getting beta carotenes. You're getting those rich, you know, it's gonna enliven your body. The antioxidants, the vitamin C, ah, natural food, the way it's meant to be. <sighs> Nurture with nature. Your health is in, your wealth is in your health, right? So you don't have to go and go find something quick and easy when nature makes it quick and easy. You just play with it. Right? You make it up in a way that is fun. You saw how simple this was to do. I mean, the sauce itself, you you do have to blend up all the ingredients. And we have posted the pictures with the, with the actual recipes. You blend up the ingredients and then you just pour it over. You make up enough of that sauce and triple it up, double it up, whatever you need to do. If you make enough of that sauce, you can use it for various recipes. The salads I've made the past two days just chiffonade up some of the spinach. Like I actually got a little bit more mature spinach or <clears throat> you can just pour it over just your baby greens, right? Add some tomatoes, add some seaweed, change up the flavors. That's so much fun, right? So you just add a little pinch of this, little pinch of that just to change it up. But ultimately you can make that base dressing or sauce, however you want to call it, and use it for the rest of the week and all your other dishes make it simple make it sweet right so like I just said my my vision was is I was gonna get cauliflower stick it in the food processor and rice it up chop it up you know process it so that it's like rice then pour it over and then I was going to mix in some other things so and that you know it's really not that difficult eating this way actually is a lot simpler cleanup is a lot easier this has been my experience. And also cauliflower soup too. And one of my favorite things to do is make a cauliflower mash with garlic, nutritional yeast, some lemon, throw it in the blender, make it all nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, I can totally eat that up on, on its own. I love garlic and onions and all that. I have had um, sensitivity to onions over the past year that I've been paying more and more attention to. It's, I love the red onions. I have one over here. When I had it last night, I woke up the next morning. My eyes were really, really swollen. And uh, in conjunction with my moon cycle, I'm not 100% sure that one did, it, it was a combination of the two, one more than the other. But that's where we're learning. We need to tap into our body's wisdom. We need to listen to the signs and really just hone in on what's going on within ourselves so we're no longer projecting out and trying to get other people to tell us what it is. We, we live in the body. This physical body is your, your life suit, right? And you just, you're the only one who knows what goes on on a daily basis. So I hope you've all had a great evening. I hope this inspires you to make something really sweet and special and very simple for you and nourish your body, nourish your mind, body, and soul. Bring it into balance and harmony and let your, let your life unfold, right? Ease and grace, dance with it, baby. Dance, do this divine dance. 
Enjoy it. Feel it. The richness, the sensuality of everything you do. Put your heart and soul into all of it. Because that's what it's about. That's why we're here to live this existence. So that we're fully engaged. All of the senses make it that sensual experience. Sensuality is not sexuality. Start rewriting that in your own mind because most of us have been conditioned to think taboo sensuality in sexuality in themselves. Feel it, taste it, touch it, smell it, see it. Just be in all of it, right? And that's going to bring you the most harmony, balance in all of your senses, in all of your body, mind, and soul. So for tonight, get your dance on. Go to the group. Remember, this is the challenge. I want to see y'all dance. I want to see you dance because you deserve it. Whether it's live or it's, a, it's uploaded from your pre-done video, make sure you're using some, some rad music. I love you all. Keep it raw. Stay rad. What, what?